What's up, doll collectors? Hobbyist, fab some besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Yeah, so our newly renovated studio apartment is still on the table because I haven't found a place to store it yet. I saw this happening and did I pay attention to the warnings? No, but I kind of love this space. So part of me doesn't mind. And we totally have more decorating to do. So it's gonna have to sit here for a minute, but maybe we can add a little dollhouse art. We use these to decorate Summer's apartment a few years ago. I just use a little poster putty to attach them to the walls. Let's bring in our silver tree. Hmm, I wouldn't mind if it was a little taller. So I'm just gonna glue half of a mini brand's capsule on as a base. I cut a small notch out of the side, glue the battery pack for the lights underneath, and we might as well add a little more tinsel. Allow the cord to pass through the notch, turn on the lights, add our ornaments, and yeah, I'm only placing them on the front. Cause honestly, no one's gonna see the back. Growing up, we had to decorate the back of the tree. As an adult, I don't. Don't tell my mom. And instead, let's take a look at new dolls. New Barbie fashionistas are starting to show up. I bought this doll on Amazon for $10.99. It is doll number 218. On the side of the box, we can see the new additions. I have this one, number 213, 216, 220, and Fashionista 217. I also ordered 215 and 214, but they have not arrived. Some of these dolls say Barbie 65 on the back, inspiring stories shaping the future. Then there is a picture of another Barbie right above it. This one is from 1977, and it appears to be the inspo for the Barbie fashionista. Oh wow, I like this idea. Let's get this doll out of the box for a closer look. Right out of the box, this doll does have a little box hair, so she might need a spa day. The front of her hair is pulled up into a ponytail. She has brown eyes and a pink lip color. This doll is a little pixelated and shiny. She comes wearing a silver colored necklace that says star, a pink dress with a ruffle at the top, Black shoes. Like many Barbie fashionistas, she has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. Looks like she has a classic Barbie body type and she might be a decent match for the AA Barbie soccer player, which is the body that I use for Mini Toya. However, I'm not swapping her because she looks pretty similar to our doll that we named Mira who's already on the shelf. And Mira's not pixelated. I just did some research. I read the description on Amazon. These dolls are celebrating 65 years of signature style with a modern twist. This outfit is inspired by her superstar look from 1977. There is no opening in the back and it has clear plastic straps. Barbie fashionista number 216 is inspired by the peaches and cream look from 1985. Aw, I had this doll when I was little. This is a tall Barbie with brown eyes, blue eyeshadow, orange lipstick, straight black hair pulled back into a ponytail. She has a center part, comes wearing large gold earrings that don't seem to be designed to be removed. She is pixelated and shiny, wears an asymmetrical dress, with a printed glitter pattern on the front, at least that's what it looks like to me. The fabric does go all the way around. She has ruffled sleeves of peach tulle, a peach ruffle at the bottom of the dress, and blue shoes. She looks similar to our model Tanya and might be a match for the Barbie rock climber. I remember the peaches and cream dress and the top had like this pearly iridescent skin. It was, I guess, like snake skin at the top. I'm not sure how I feel about this dress. Part of me would have liked to have seen a sparkly fabric here instead of a printed image, but that's just me. 
Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Fashionista number 213 is rocking that 1959 first swimsuit. This doll has blue eyes with blue eyeshadow and pink lipstick, a little pixelated and shiny. She has blonde hair pulled back in a ponytail, comes with blue sunglasses, a black and white tube top with clear straps, a pink skirt with a ruffle in the front that does not carry around to the back. The skirt and the top are two separate pieces with no openings in the back. And this doll finishes her look with a pair of black heels. I like the heels. If we could have got Margot Robbie's inspired dress from the red carpet, that would have been amazing. Barbie Fashionista number 218 is inspired by Barbie's great shape look from 1984. Out of all the dolls, this is probably my favorite inspired look so far. She has blue hair with a center part, blue eyes, and a soft pink lip color. She is a little pixelated and shiny, but I think she is still cute. This is a curvy Barbie. She comes wearing a gold colored necklace, a colorful rainbow tube top that reminds me of the leggings. From the inspo, it's not an exact match but it totally brings the vibe, to me anyway. She wears a fitted blue skirt with printed ribbons on the sides. The top and the skirt are two separate pieces with no openings in the back. And she finishes her look with hot pink sneakers. She looks like a match for this made to move Barbie body. It's a tiny bit off from her current body, but looks like it'll match the face. However, this doll is a curvy, so if you want to keep her a curvy, you'll just have to find a similar skin tone in a curvy. Fashionista 220 does not have the celebrating 75 years little icon inside the box. This doll has sculpted hair, wears behind the ear hearing aids that are not designed to be removed. This doll has brown eyes and a neutral lip color. It is not shiny or pixelated. This is a broad body kin, wearing an orange, yellow, and white wavy shirt, faux denim shorts. The pattern on the shirt goes all the way around. The shirt and shorts are two separate pieces and they Velcro in the back. And he completes his look with blue jelly sandals. And those are my new fashionistas so far. While on Amazon, I ran across this Barbie pop star, celebrating 65 years of inspiring stories. In addition to fashion, they are also celebrating Barbie careers and showcasing a few fan favorites, like a pop star, astronaut, and farm vet. For the pop star, some assembly is required. Ah, oh, so we can make a little doll stand that we can turn to make the doll move. This doll comes with a microphone and a stand, a purple bouquet, light pink necklace, pink glasses, a yellow bracelet, pink shoes, a pink guitar, and a pink, blue, and yellow swirly dress with a little bit of sparkle. The pattern continues all the way around and it velcros in the back. This doll has brown crimped hair with pink highlights. The top is pulled up and she has painted edges. She has brown eyes, her face screening looks good, and she has a little more articulation than a fashionista. In addition to the basic five, this doll has an elbow joint and a wrist joint. When new fashionistas come out, I usually get pretty excited for head swapping possibilities. I think this doll is really cute. I just don't have a spare curvy body to match her. She looks like a decent match for the curvy Barbie style doll, but I only have one and that one belongs to our model cat. So I'm finding myself looking back at some of my older dolls, like my Barbie cheerleaders. These came out a while back, but they're not pixelated. I like their eye proportions. And I love the idea of giving an older doll a new life. I think she is super cute. And I just bought this Dreamtopia mermaid for like $6.99 on Amazon. I want to say that's the same sculpt. I could be wrong. We're going to try this Tennessee cheerleader with the yellow top made to move Barbie. And maybe these two are a match. Yeah, I think it'll work. 
One moment, she'll be right back with a made to move body. I absolutely love her lip color. The match for this doll looks pretty good and I took down her braid and now she has this really nice wave. Let's borrow a little fashionista clothing to make these dolls feel like superstars. And now we have two new dolls to add to the shelf. However, when dealing with older dolls, there's a chance you might encounter waxy hair. It's a whole thing. You have been warned. But that is our first look at a few of the new Barbie fashionistas. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff the frog vlog and bella of my froggy stuff and we will see you next time <laughs>